the brave here and welcome to our brand new series Bible craft where I'm going to be sharing stories from the Bible and also trying to build from things in the Bible in Minecraft keep in mind due to Minecraft it's gonna be slight, slightly different than what the Bible is I mean the only animals we have are sheep cows wolves bunnies and Oscillates. So we're gonna have to be a little creative. Oh, and pigs. We have pigs. And there's actually a story about pigs in the Bible and sheep. But we're gonna be a little creative and have big imaginations for this, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started with our first story. Actually, we're gonna start in the beginning. And I'll be reading from the NIV version of the Bible. We're gonna start right in Genesis chapter 1. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless empty, darkness was all over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there is light. And God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning. The first day. And God said, let there be an expanse between the waters, separate water from water. So God made the expanse, and he separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. And the expanse was called the sky. And there is evening and morning, the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and gathered the waters and called seas. And God saw that was good. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kind, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God said it was good. And there's morning and evening the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate day from night. Let them serve as signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great... Sorry. God made two great lights. The greater light to govern the day... and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, to separate light from darkness. And God saw, God saw that it was good. There's evening and there's morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters teem with living creatures. Let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. 
So God created great creatures of the sea, and every living and moving thing with which water teems according to their kind, and every we winged bird according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in numbers, and fill the waters and the sea, and let the birds increase on earth. And there is evening, and there is morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce with living creatures according to their kinds. Livestock, creatures that move along the ground, wild animals according to its kind. And it was so. God made wild animals according to its kind, livestock according to their kind, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kind. And God saw it, and it was good. And then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock and over the earth. And all the creatures that move along the ground. And God created man in his own image. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Roll over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I will give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the earth, and every tree that has fruit with seed on it, in it. They will be yours for food. And all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air, and all the creatures will move on the ground. Everything that has breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there's evening. And there is morning, the sixth day. And thus the heavens and the earth were completed in their vast array. By the seventh day God had finished the work he was doing, and so on the seventh day he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he was creating. Genesis chapter 1 through Genesis 2 verse 2, no 3, 2 verse 3, sorry. So all the worth, world around you God created just by his voice. How cool is that? And the coolest thing about it, cooler than any of the trees, any of the birds of the air, or the creatures on the ground, or the sea, he created you out of his own image. How special is that? You are created in the image of God. He loves you so much, more than you can ever even know. And that's, that's just the coolest. Cooler than anything. So I want you guys to just know that, that he does love you. He cares for you. He cares for everything. Because he created you. And he knows you. And he loves you. I know today wasn't really a building or crafting day because we just went over how God crafted the world. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. This is one of many to come. Next week's episode will be the counts of Adam and Eve. So, in the Garden of Eden. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part. And, as always, thank you so, so much for watching.